Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics. We back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to make an updated uh, video for vehicles persistence. Okay, this is how you can save vehicles all around the map, all around the game. Okay, so um, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. As I encourage everybody before you download any script or mod, always read the description that the author has provided. Okay, has uh, very important information in here, as well as the change log and installation and also the controls. Okay, so very important that you read the description because it has right here how to operate it with the controls on the keyboard and if you're using the controller okay so once you're done reading all this what you want to do is go to the current one which is 1.3.2 this is the current one right now you want to come to this little green arrow right here and select this arrow to download okay once you have downloaded this let's go ahead and jump into the requirements you are going to need script hook V when you get to this page, just go ahead and select download right here. You want to select just the download. And the next link that you're going to need is the community scriptbookv.net. All right. Once you come here, read the description. And after you're done reading the description, you want to come and download the current, which is 3.0.2. Okay. You want to come right here and click on the green arrow to download. And uh, once you click on this arrow to download, it will lead you to this page right here, which is the GitHub page for scriptbookv.net releases, okay? It will have all the old releases as well, but we are going to be installing the latest updated one, which is this one right here, okay? It's the 3.0.2. So once you get here, if you scroll down a little bit and look under it, it will say scriptbookv.net.zip. You wanna select this and download this, okay? And the last one that we need is going to be native UI. All right. Once you get to this page right here, you want to select download 1.9.1. Okay. Once you select this, you will be prompt to download. And once you have all of those downloaded, it should look something like this on my left hand side I have an empty folder with the downloads that we just downloaded. If you look, the first one I have is native UI 1.9.1. Then I have script hook V. Then I have scriptbookv.net. Then we have our vehicle persistence 1.3.2. Okay. All right. Now what we want to do is open up our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory like I have it opened up right here on my right hand side. And what we need to do is have a scripts folder. Okay. So if you don't have a scripts folder, go ahead and create a new folder and name it scripts. Once you have that folder created, go ahead and open up your scripts folder. Now let's go back over here to our downloads, okay? We are going to start with our native UI folder. So open up your native UI folder. Inside that folder is going to have two files. We are only going to be taking the first one, which is native UI.dll. Let's go ahead and drag this one file into our scripts folder. I already have it as you can see. Now that that has been installed, let's go back to our downloads, go back, and now let's go to our vehicle persistence, which is 1.3.2. Okay, let's open up that folder. Inside that folder is going to be two folders and also be a readme, all right? Now what we are going to do is take this folder right here, the vehicle persistence, 1.3.2. Make sure that you're selecting the right folder, the vehicle persistence folder right here and open up that folder. Inside that folder is going to be another folder and two files. We are going to highlight all three of these, all right? And we are going to go ahead, drag and drop them right here into our scripts folder. Just like so, okay? Now, if we go back over to our downloads, just go back one time. Now that we have that all installed, let's go ahead and uh, and select GTA 5 on the top of our um, Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. We could select GTA Grand Theft Auto 5 or we could select back to get back to our directory right here, as you can see, all right? Now let's go back over to our downloads. The next thing that we are going to install is script hook V, all right? So open up your script hook V folder. Inside that folder is going to be another folder named bin. Open up the bin folder. Inside that folder is going to be three files. We are going to only take the very first one and the last one. Okay, so you want to take these files that I have highlighted. 
then drag and drop both of those files right here into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. I already have them as you can see. Now let's go back over to our downloads. Go back, back again. Now let's install the last folder, which is our scripthookv.net. All right, let's open up the scripthookv.net folder. Inside that folder is going to be two text documents and it's going to be a couple of files down here, okay? The files that we need are these files, these three files that I have highlighted, okay? So you wanna take a good look and make sure that you take these files that I have highlighted and drag and drop these three files into the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, all right? So now that that has been installed, we can go ahead and minimize any windows that we have open and run the game. All right. Once you spawn inside the game, uh, what we want to do is find a vehicle, okay? Now, since I'm already here at uh, Franklin's house, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's jump in this car right here. All right. Now, let's go ahead and um, teleport this car to a different uh, location real quick. I'm going to teleport that uh, probably over here. Okay. Teleport anywhere on the map. Okay. Now, say like we wanted to go ahead and save our car somewhere, right? We'll go ahead and just park it right here. All right. Now, if you wanted to save your car, if you're using um, the keyboard, you're going to press Function Key F9. All right. Now, if you're using your controller, what you're going to do is press um, RB, uh, which is the top right shoulder button, and you're going to press X or A if you're using a Xbox controller or PS4, okay? And when you press that, you will see vehicle saved pop up, and it'll give you the total number of saved vehicles that you have, all right? And then you can go ahead and get out the car, go anywhere on the map, and you will see the car that you just saved right here. It will be um, in red if that is the current vehicle that you are driving. And if you have more than one, then they will be yellow. All right. So since we saved that one right there, I'm going to go and uh, teleport somewhere else. We'll just steal a random car. All right. Teleport it right here. All right. We got a car coming our way. You could also spawn the car doesn't matter <laughs> all right and uh, that happens when uh, whenever you still car with a gun out he usually points the gun out <laughs> all right so say like we want to save this one right we could save it anywhere it doesn't need to be in the parking lot I just like to park mines and parking lots all right now say like um, I want to leave this car right here I could go ahead and save it by uh, pressing F9 function key or the um, right top shoulder button in X or A. Then you will see vehicle saved and total number of saved vehicles now is two because we have two of them now, all right? So remember how I mentioned earlier, the car that you are driving on the map, it will be red, okay? Because we are currently driving that car. Now the other cars that we saved before that is going to be yellow. Okay, so whichever saved car you are driving is going to be red. That will be like the current car that you are driving, all right? And all the other saved cars before that will be yellow, all right? Now, another thing to go over, if you wanted to open up the menu, you can either press F12. Uh, F12 is the function key, the top function key on your keyboard. That will open up the menu right here. As you can see, it's the vehicle persistence menu. Or you could press RB, which is the top right shoulder button, and uh, right on the D-pad. That will open up uh, the vehicle persistence menu also. If you go into the category startups, this will be options that you can enable or disable for startup. And uh, the gameplay, um, this is where you can change the blips, the blips for the colors of the cars for either Franklin, Michael, or Trevor, or other characters as well. And uh, also, this um, is the keys that you could change as well, okay? So um, if you have something else using F9, then you could go ahead and change your uh, keys right here, okay? A lot of times we have to go inside the scripts folder and go into the any 
into the configuration settings file but we could just change the buttons right here in the game all right so um i hope that this helped everybody out and if you're still having issues with a vehicle persistence mod try taking out all other scripts and mods and then installing this okay install this first make sure that it's working and then add in other mods or scripts okay that is a good solution if uh, you install this and, you, and it's not working for you okay it's probably because you have other mods or scripts that are conflicting with this one all right so uh, we're going to end it right here this is just an updated video just to make sure that everybody is able to um, install vehicle persistence mod and get it working okay and another thing when you jump into your saved vehicles and wherever you park your vehicle i'm gonna park it right here and when i get out look above the mini map it will just be uh parked right here like it'll be saved right here okay so i could just go and uh teleport anywhere on the map and that car will be right there all right teleport down here all right and if i open up my mini map both of the cars that uh we had saved it'll still be in the same spot that you left it all right and also if you turn off the game and turn it back on those cars will still be saved right there all right now also let me show you one thing if you look in your scripts folder all right if you look in your scripts folder i'm gonna go uh, have my grand theft auto 5 directory open up right here in my scripts folder i'm gonna open it up and if you go inside vehicle persistence and then saved vehicles and then you want to go in the character that you have saved those vehicles so since i'm franklin i'm gonna go in franklin's folder and then you will see the two vehicles that you have saved okay so that's how you uh find all the vehicles all the vehicles that you saved will be saved right inside vehicle persistence folder inside your scripts folder all right they're all saved here by default okay all right so now that we had covered that if this had helped you to install it or to get it working correctly or if you just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for your boy definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all this is games and graphics me and big balling ass frank we are out of here till next time y'all i ain't scared of you motherfuckers